Hey, what's happening? Chris Young just lounging over here on the Easy Glide sleeper sofa that is in the brand new East to West Tandera 340RD. This rear den coach is great for a couple or family. Can sleep up to six, 37 feet, seven inches, roughly 11,200 pounds. And let me tell you, the opposing slides here in the rear living area or rear den area really makes this a great camp out space. And I like these new easy out couches. Let me check this out. A little easy glide, excuse me. Whoop. Goes right into place. I love how they can easily come in and out. And then over on the other side, it's gonna be your other couch. But check out this rear wall. You got windows on both sides giving you light behind the TV, as well as a breeze from the back, which is unique. I really like that approach. But 55 inch TV on a swivel, and you got those shaker style cabinets up top with the solid wood construction, the frosted glass inlay, the matte black pulls, and look at my hideaway hinges. I am a huge fan of manufacturers that do that. They're a little bit more expensive, but it means they're willing to put the quality and luxury into your RV, which with East to West, the Tandera, that's what they do. Down below the TV is gonna be more storage, plus I got my little component cover there, the blackout glass, if you will, AM, FM, Furion stereo there, or excuse me, Jensen stereo, with Bluetooth, dual zone, it's got your USB, as well as your HDMI. Now in this one, you have a 35,000 BTU furnace and you got two ACs, one here in the master, a Coleman mock with a quick cool dump, and then one uh, in the master bedroom. Down below my TV is going to be an oversized fireplace, roughly 5,100 BTUs of heat to go along with that 35,000 BTU furnace, which you see the duct down below. Multi-flame setting, multi-light setting, also really does a good job of knocking that chill off the air. Just love those little electric fireplaces. And when it's time to just kick back and chill, this is where I think this could be a great couples coach too, because you can entertain, you got the sleeping space if you need it, but you have a true rear den. Sit here and enjoy the TV. All the views with all of the windows inside this unit. I can't talk about the windows enough. Plush and comfortable recliners, five inch console, little storage space there. Pop these out, cut the heater on, Cut the fireplace on, and I'm out like a light. Speaking of light, frosted glass inlay in my pantry door with motion sensing light and adjustable shelves. I like how East to West does this with their pantries because you get these little stoppers on both sides, move the shelves. So if you need it for pantry space, ward space, storage space, you want to put your bags in there, maybe fishing rod cases, rifle cases, whatever. You got a spot for it. And it leads right into the kitchen where on the off camp side, solid surface countertops. 21 inch Magic Chef oven with the recessed three burner cooktop and glass cover. Oversized window here, 48 inches on that one with the applique around it, giving me a nice backsplash. There's that shaker style, got the gas strut support there. Storage on both sides. Solid wood construction, full extension, my ball bearing guides there. Just like the space, like the prep. Even got an oversized drawer underneath the oven. I tell you what, man, I'm digging it. For 37 feet, seven inches, they packed a lot. And you gotta remember the Tanderas are those mid-profile fifth wheels. They're 11,200 pounds, all the space. Sweet layout, but this is just the beginning. Before I even get to the rest of the kitchen, let me show you my favorite part. Check out this dinette. This is an awesome, funky little space. One of the things East to West is known for is the beauty, design, quality, all of that. But innovation too. First time I saw this, I thought, what is this? Sure, I got my little bench seat down here with the storage underneath, cushion, Velcros to the top. This is a multifunctional space. Check it out. The table slides. So if you want to do an office space, a breakfast nook, maybe set, set up something up here because you got press surface countertop there, storage down beneath as well as 110 charging, but it also slides out. So you need to sit more people. You absolutely can. Got a couple there. You got two chairs under the master bed. Then if you're like me and you think, all right, I need to get that third hot dog, you can just keep moving it out and giving you as much space as you want. Or leave it something like that. Once again, workspace, breakfast nook versatility to me just having the option alone was a great feature solid surface countertop there 
Great storage up top as well with those shaker cabinets. Once again, the frosted inlay, tons of space and tons of light thanks to these huge panoramic windows. Windows again. The other thing I like East to West does, check out the back of my blackout shade. It's white. That's going to reflect the sun and the heat. So if you do have that down during the day, it won't get as hot. Oversized prep area here with the undermounted stainless steel sink sprayer. Love that. Love the full coverage of the drying rack as well. Plenty of storage there. More storage up top. The crown molding is a very nice touch because not only does that give you, oh, you can put a plant up there, whatever you want, but also like how it flows with the decor of the ceiling as well. And then a residential style fridge freezer combo by Furion where you got the fresh LED light, frost free freezer. Love it. Great space. Speaking of space, let's go check out the master. Come on. The master bathroom, <laughs> very nice as well. We got ourselves a little high rise plastic bowl with the foot flush right there. I got pressed surface countertop on my vanity with a undermounted sink. I like the undermounted sink because you don't get the seal on top. Plus you got the mirrored medicine cabinet with the raised lips, some storage down below, glass enclosure on my shower, which has the bench seat. I think this is 30 by 48, if I'm not mistaken. Corner notches, a uh, nice big skylight too. Uh, and you'll notice, even though this is a mid profile, look at the headroom that I have here. I even have my little decorative shower nozzle here. I like that. I mean, just an absolute beautiful space, well-built coach as well. Good linen space there too. And this is a pass-through bathroom. So this pocket door right here leads to the master, which you'll see what I'm talking about. Pass-through bathroom. So if you're up here, you need to go to the bathroom and people are sleeping in the living area on those high-to-bed sofas, not going to mess anybody up and vice versa. King-size bed in the slide with the padded headboard, windows on both sides, strut-supported storage underneath. There's your chairs for when you want to put those on the other side of that bench seat or ottoman, as some people like to call it. Uh, it serves the purposes both. Chest of drawers over here, large window, TV backer, cable and satellite, as well as 110, second AC. And do you notice another thing? What do you not have a lot of in some mid profile fifth wheels, especially in the front cap? Headroom. You got 6'4 clearance in this. Got my motion sensing light inside of i not like these doors too man mirrored sliding doors oversized front cap storage here washer dryer prepped on both sides absolutely awesome got to tell you for 37 feet 7 inches not even 11,300 pounds dry awesome high-end coach the east to west tandera 340 RD. Okay, let's go check out the outside. And hey, while you're here, if you like videos like this, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. Come on. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask. Wasn't that artisan maple decor just beautiful? If there's anything that you like about this, that this is the 340 RD East to West Tandera. Please leave me some comments down below because I love to know your thoughts on these things. Solid step over steps as we exit out of this beautiful fifth wheel. You'll see the gel coated fiberglass. Let me tell you the insulation, the heated and enclosed underbelly really could make this a four season coach depending on where you are in the country. So Albuquerque and Buffalo, y'all a little different. So just do your common sense thinking. Deep tent windows all the way around, 20 foot awning with the LED light strip, plus this the Solaris Smart Arm with the adjustable pitch. True pass through storage that is oversized. This is cavernous. And I like how we got the roto molded down there. So if you got the dirty stuff or the wet stuff coming back from the beach or the hike, throw it in there, easy to clean. Even got your cable and your power connection. Got the Dexter Easy Lube Gladiator axles on these with the never adjust brakes, not to mention nitro filled endurance tires by Goodyear. That right there is our ground control. Been through a little bit of mud. Got the power pack right there as well. Come around to the back. You're going to see they mounted a ladder for you. Very nice. You want to bring the portable generator, the bike rack, or whatever. Got the hitch there. Backup camera prep, arch ceiling with the rain nozzles to keep the snow and the elements, the rain off this coach. More importantly, off you and the slides. Now, let's check out what's on the rest of the off camp side. Come on. 
on the off-camp site. That's where you're going to find your terminations. Now, remember on this one, you do have a 64-gallon fresh, 88-gallon gray, 44-gallon black. 50-amp connection right there. Strut-supported door for the other side of our pass-through storage and the external command center. I like this because these are lockable, so I can secure my connections if I need to. I got my, my dump pulls right there. Black tank flush, city water connection, external shower with hot and cold, battery disconnect, but more importantly, the smart system. I like their external command system because it color codes whatever you need to do. You're doing some dry camping, move the knobs this way. You want to do the winterization, move the knobs this way. Because for me, I need that. And an awesome feature. You got the Lippert electronic leveling on this bad boy. The ground control, a very nice feature. Underneath up front, under the front cap, that's where you're going to see what I like to call the gen box, but it's the battery box. You do have a solar charge controller in here because the 340RD comes with a solar panel on top. Very nice feature to have. Not to mention you got that 1000 watt inverter. So you want to go off the grid for a little bit, charge batteries, you can. You want to tow this thing. You got one of the best fifth wheel hitches around with the Rhino box. How about a 10 inch LED light to help you back up and hook up? Fiberglass end cap molded with tons of insulation. Just packed in there and you got that one and a half inch block foam in there too to help. I mean, just beautiful running lights, gorgeous, gel coated. So it's going to last and not dull. 37 feet, seven inches, roughly 11,200 pounds dry, can sleep up to six and just feature packed. The Tandera wanted to give you luxury and features and not break the bank. And I got to tell you, they did it. So if that's what you're looking for, you're looking for one of those rear den kind of rear living floor plans. Chris, we want something 37 feet. Uh, we're looking for 11,000 dry. I mean, you know, probably 13, 14 gross. So you just gotta keep that in mind and talk to your specialists at Camping World, let them help you with that. But this checks all the boxes, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, do me a favor, leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it. Because we love hearing from you. And the best part about the 340RD, you can pick it up today at Camping World, but come get it.